Hello everyone, Every, it's my love readings from a love spiritual place where the spiritual journey begins. Today we're going to be focusing on our soul path journey. This reading is for June 2019 and we're going to be seeing in here what is the feelings that are going to be happening through us and the reason that the, all those feelings and they're going to show us, it's going to allow us to see uh, what we can expect what is the what we are right now uh, as a collective where right now what, where we are in our soul path uh, as a collective take whatever resonates with you the, if not just leave it for maybe another person around you or seeing or watching this video that is going to resonate a little bit better but this is for my tribe this is for each one of you that are watching this so we're going to be focusing right now what is the soul path journey what where we are in our soul path right now so as you know this this requires seven seven decks seven cards so let's see so the first one have to be with the fairy of highland it's time to be brave so right now during june we are in our soul path remember that this is in a soul path in our spirit in our higher self so our higher self is trying to be brave is trying to really be in self and if you being able to see already our tarot reading for the month you will understand why we are feeling that way Right, right now, our spirit, our soul journey, who we are as a as a as a spirit, as a spiritual person, is telling us you need to be brave. You need to really focus and really be who you are meant to be. Right now, you need to start speaking your truth, not just with people, to yourself. It's time to be that brave person. It's time to really allow yourself to embrace all of these things that maybe sometimes it could be um, scary but it's still they are really important for each one of us um, because it's our truth is who we are is really something that is needed to create or to grow I would say more so why our spirit right now are going through that process what is the situation that is making us go why uh, the spirit or our higher self as uh, are kind of making us go to this journey right now why um, for a fire because we need to really start creating our life we really need to start allowing ourselves to transform so because we really are in a process of transforming ourselves right now the universe the spirit is in a transformation phase so we needed to let it happen not just that it's allowing to create the life that we're looking for it's not time to keep dreaming but if you are not ready to accept who you are this is not going to happen what it is the past life that is affecting as a collective or in your personal journey this um this life this this process this step right now don't be afraid sweetie they're just saying don't be afraid we are who we are we are what it meant to be so they want for us to be brave they're really saying this is your time this is the moment don't waste it use June if you don't go through this process if you don't allow this process to happen we are not going to be able to grow so what is the past last Atlantis this is this cannot be <laughs> more perfect Atlantis is known as one of the most mystical spiritual places in here so as a collective a lot of us that we are learning we are growing we are jo we are for like for some of us we are studying for some of us we are in the middle for some of us we are a little bit more advanced no matter what position you are in your journey as a group as a collective we are going through this together each one of us are going to keep accepting who we are and embracing as a human or as a spirit having a human spirit as a spirit in a in, in here and in a higher self kind of way so they're saying this is happening because it's time to raise it's time to keep awakening it's time to keep developing who we are 
it's time for us because these transformations are happening but it's going to be more difficult and painful if we don't accept if we are not brave and speak the truth of who we are they keep pushing us they keep saying it's time for us because our past our past life those things that we did in the past those things those of those okay they're saying the knowledge that we get got gathered during this past life especially for those that have an Atlantic past life we are here to to remember we need to remember to allow ourselves to be way more better to allow our higher self to really grow what is the lesson that we need to learn let's see oh my god they keep talking or the guys the spirits are saying please listen listen what are saying listen what it is say in here be brave love who you are becoming love this amazing higher self of yours remember your higher self and you are one it's just um, the higher self have the knowledge of the past the knowledge of being better so they want for us to to use it the lessons summer winter so the lesson it is to create the balance the lesson it is about allowing the past to stay in the past and the pre- and keep moving forward we need to keep not just about uh, letting go of the past they're saying that you need to see what you have you need to embrace and be more value of everything the lessons that we have to go through in everything that ha- in our past the lessons that we have to go in atlantis uh, uh, and even now any kind of lesson that you have to go through your soul path are shaping you are creating you you are getting better and better in who you are they really want us they really want us to use everything and love those mistakes embrace those mistakes embrace the right decision as well they want for us that no matter how difficult it was in the past now we are in the in the present now we are receiving what is good for us but please listen they want for us to listen so what kind of energy are going to be working with us that is going to help us to embrace who we are to accept to allow this transformation and if you see um if you didn't saw it already or watch it already i highly recommend to watch the title reading from uh, from june because it's really they're talking kind kind of the same even the energy of June are going to push us so our soul path or the universe is putting everything together for this acceptance to happen but not just that they want for us to embrace that we are knowledgeable we have wisdom we are all we are amazing they're saying you learn you have to go through a hard time in other past life as well you have to learn so many things now embrace it now allow it this transformation is not just spiritual it's physical it's emotional it's everything so the energy that we are going to be using or is going to be around all of this is going to be a strategy So they want us to really sit down and start thinking about what we want to do, what kind of things we can create, what kind of things we can do. Maybe some classes, maybe some studies, maybe practicing, maybe putting more meditation, maybe scheduling, whatever it is that is going to work with you. This is the moment. That is the kind of energy that you're going to be using to allow this transformation to happen because now we can be brave about it we can really accept so definitely it's tragedy they're saying it's time for you to plan it plan what you want in your life not just about what you want is put like a plan into it how you want it to create it about who you are how you want to work with your abilities or with your spiritual knowledge what you want to do in your life maybe what kind of thing you need to start cutting everything they want to for us to really plan it we need to plan it 
so we can really create and learn about that all of the lessons and allow this all ancient knowledge from the Atlantis uh, to show in our life so how flying how this is going to be able to happen or how this is kind of um, been going on is because we're going to allow our intuition this is really about our intuition manifesting really really more our intuition our mind our spirits are going to tell us how we need to plan it how we're going to be using this energy so follow it just put attention to the signs put attention to to any kind of message that you're going to be receiving through dream through others whatever they use to give you that um message about how you're going to be using this energy of planning how you're going to be putting all of this plan into action is through your intuition and not just that they're saying because you are transforming yourself you are giving love you are allowing love to be with you and work with you that is going to be another way that this is going to happen and it's going to be really really good for you so at the end what is going to be creating through each one of us how is going to be? Let's see. Let's see what it is that is going to get out, or what it is that we are going to be shaping, uh, or what we can expect from all of this. The high lord of gratitude and service, selfness, humility, and conscious action. So through all of these changes, we're going to be able to allow um, to be more connected. We are going to be more grounded. Through all of this, we have to go through this because we need to be more grounded. We need to be more selfness. And we, they want us to start putting ourselves into service. For those that have the call to do this for others, we are going to be going through all of this. And, and allowing us to expand and not be afraid to discover other part of us because we need to put a service we need to learn a little bit more of gratitude and service we are really looking forward a lot of things those good things are going to be putting us more grounding and we're going to be more centered this is what is going to get out of all of this in our soul journal we are going to be more in a center so we are not going to feel off and we're going to be able to keep planning everything that we want. So I hope that this soul path journey reading helped you for the month of June. Remember that this is as a collective reading for those that really resonate or that really feel that this reading is talking to you. Put in action, put everything uh, to keep moving forward. Okay, sweeties? So thank you again to be here. Thank you for listening to me and watching this reading.